In the world of fitness motivation, one name echoes from the past. A former West Point graduate, fitness model, motivational speaker, certified personal trainer, and army captain. This man was loved by many, but his life was snuffed out in a freak accident in which he was fatally struck by a train. If you were to ask any aspiring bodybuilder, fitness enthusiast, or gym rat in the early noughties, who inspired you? I guarantee Greg Pitt's name would be mentioned. His physique, motivational speeches, and inspiring workouts provided young people with the drive to get to the gym, train hard, and improve their physical and mental well-being. In this video, we will delve into the remarkable life and tragic death of a man whose impact reached far beyond the gym. This is the entire life story of Greg Plitt. Born on November 3rd, 1977, in Lutherville, Maryland, Greg Plitt was born into a happy family. His mother, Janet, was an interior designer and his father, Greg Sr., a real estate agent. Greg was born into a family of four, with the other member being his older sister, Virginia, who attended the United States Naval Academy at Annapolis. Greg himself was a graduate of the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York, graduating in the class of 2000, and was both airborne and ranger qualified, serving as a ranger for five years. His physical prowess was obvious to those he trained and served with. Something about him, perhaps his demeanor, work ethic, dedication, something seemed special to his peers. Greg loved serving his country, but it seemed his true passion lay in fitness. This passion allowed Greg to pursue a career as a successful fitness model and actor. Three times a day. Someone must really mess with their head, man. After Greg's time in the military had drawn to a close, this is exactly where he would direct his focus and attention. Greg rose to fame with appearances on several notable fitness magazines, featuring on over 200 editions. His chiseled physique and relentless work ethic made him an icon in the fitness industry, and it featured regularly on the covers of Iron Man, Men's Fitness, Muscle and Fitness, American Health and Fitness, Fitness RX, and Men's Workout. This notoriety also allowed Greg to appear in more mainstream media, including TV shows such as Workout, <laughs> Friends to Lovers, oh my God. Days of Our Lives, and Mystery Millionaire. I'm used to men with a bit more money than Greg. Plitt would also appear on numerous commercials, including Doe Show, in which they would painfully dub his voice. I'm Greg, a West Point graduate and former Army Ranger. ATI Training Center. Marine. This is Greg Plitt for ATI Career Training Center. Old Spice and Bowflex. He would also model for Under Armour, Calvin Klein, Met RX, and Gold's Gym. His body was also notably used as a direct reference for the mannequins for Under Armour and for Dr. Manhattan in the Watchmen movie. On the back of this growing appeal and success, Greg was now starting to cultivate a fan base, and he would parlay this opportunity in developing a following on social media and on YouTube. Beyond his physique, Plitt was a savvy entrepreneur, launching successful business programs, supplements, and motivational content. He was also ahead of his time, as he hosted this content on his own website. These videos would go on to inspire millions of people around the world to pursue their own fitness goals. Of course, he would monetize all of these ventures to massive success. Greg then used this momentum to fully pivot into content creation, as he would often post workouts and motivational speeches both of which were received positively by his fans. I personally remember watching Greg's videos to inspire myself to get off my lazy ass and get to the gym numerous times. Not only this, I can even attribute commencing my own fitness journey to being somewhat initially inspired by Greg. I'm sure many of you can attest to that yourselves, much like popular YouTuber Christian Guzman. Greg Plitt was a huge inspiration of mine. I dedicated my first gym opening to him because he was such a, had a big impact on my life and just trying to you know, take the messages he's sort of ingrained and just pass them on, right? His legacy lives on and that's the life goal, right? And you, and you have a mural dedicated to him here. Yep. Greg Plitt demonstrated palpable discipline, dedication and resilience in his motivational speeches and workouts. This, in turn, created an infectious aura around him. And this aura was obvious even through the computer screen. His philosophy centered around pushing one's limits and never settling for mediocrity. I specifically remember watching one of his location workouts, which was based at a train station. This video went viral, and Greg subsequently realized that this content is what his fans craved. Little did he and his fans know, this would be foreshadowing for something that was to happen in the future. 
Unfortunately, tragedy would unfold on January 17th, 2015. A rising reality star's tragic accident has left family and fans reeling tonight. A vibrant fitness expert known for living life to the fullest killed by an oncoming train while filming. On this date, Greg Plitt lost his life in a train accident while filming a self-produced promotional video for an energy drink. Plitt was sadly fatally struck by a southbound train in Burbank, California. Shockingly, the entire incident was recorded by an onboard event recorder camera, which was mounted in the cab of the lead locomotive. It also appeared to witnesses present that Greg may have been attempting to outrun the train, presumably to demonstrate the effectiveness of the beverage. He had on all black, the train went by, I saw him stumbled over the tracks, so he had a camcorder in his hand, something like yours, and then it, that was it, the train stopped. Well, I saw him stumble over the tracks as the train was going by, and then it stopped right there. On this date, and in the days following, Greg's family, friends, and fans mourned the loss of their son, brother, friend, and role model. With countless tribute statuses being uploaded to every notable social media site at the time, millions of people had lost an icon and their primary source of motivation to improve their health and well-being. They never got to meet Greg, they never got to thank Greg, and now he was gone. It should be said, and more importantly understood, that motivation should come from within. Intrinsic motivation is far more powerful than extrinsic motivation for that reason. It's born within the self. You getting to the gym in itself is making Greg proud, but I believe this is the wrong message. In my opinion, it would make him prouder if we were to make these healthy decisions for ourselves and therefore for the right reasons. You should be proud of yourself every time you work out, make the better dietary choice, and every time you make your health and fitness a priority. Though Greg Plitt's physical presence may be gone, his legacy lives on through the lives he has touched and the inspiration and motivation he provided. His legacy is eternal through the millions of people whose life he has improved. Greg's impact on the fitness community is a testament to the enduring power of his message. Even in tragedy, the spirit of a true legend remains unbroken. It's coming. There's no fear towards death because we can't control it, for one. And when it does come, the only reason why you have fear is because you didn't do everything you wanted to do in your life. Right now, I'm okay to die. It's not about checking all the boxes. It's not about that. Because that's, that's a luxury. You don't have that right to live that long. All you have is today. That's all you got. If, you know, motivational individuals interest you, perhaps you'd like to revisit the legacy of Ziz, the king of aesthetics. Click the video on your screen now to learn how he earned this title. Click sub first please.